Speaking of hypocrites, uh, especially Republican hypocrisy, let's talk about Bristol Palin. So she uh, just published a book called Not Afraid of Life, and you know she's making her round of interviews to promote it. She had an interview with Good Morning America where she had um, an interesting take on losing her virginity. We have the interview for you guys, so let's watch. You talk about not that your virginity, that you lost it, but you use the word stolen, that in essence, Levi got you drunk and stole, again, your words, your virginity. Can you clarify that at all? That's what it felt like. Um, I'm not accusing Levi of date rape or rape at all, but I am just looking back with the adult eyes that I have now and just thinking, that was a foolish decision. I should have never been underage drinking, and I should have never gotten to my, myself into a situation like that. How do you respond to those who question whether or not you're the right person to talk about abstinence? You know, I hate the word abstinence. <laughs> I was telling someone earlier that today. And I'm not an abstinence preacher, you know. I think that uh, if you want to prevent teenage pregnancy, that's the only option. I talk about in the book how I was on birth control. Mm -hmm. And obviously it wasn't used effectively. And, you know, abstinence is the only way that you're going to prevent teenage pregnancy. But um, if you're going to have sex, practice safe sex, very safe sex. That was a heavy accusation. Claiming that someone stole your virginity is a big deal. That's basically accusing them of rape. She's like, no, 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 I'm not saying that he date raped me or anything. I'm just saying that I was drunk and he stole my virginity. It's not the same thing, is it? Yeah, no, that's it, man. Before, Bristol Palin was fun and games and we used to make fun of how, you know, She's getting paid an unbelievable amount of money to promote abstinence when she's the poster child of non-abstinence. Like, we knew that, but it was, you know, we pointed it out. But that, that, was, that was really serious right there. And for her, and the thing that sickens me about it is that she's willing to do that to somebody and throw them under the bus. Why? So she can go keep making that money on that abstinence circuit, right? And then she turns around and says, well, I don't really like that word, and... But, you know, uh, you know, that's the only way you can do things. And it's not my fault that I lost my abstinence. Somebody stole my virginity. My ass. And that's the only time you had sex? And, why, and you were on the birth control pill? Or right. you were on some sort of... Yeah. I, by the way, I don't even believe that she was using any kind of birth control. I agree with and you 100% it, on that. Right. And here's what I definitely don't believe. That was the only time you had sex? I know. Come on. Look, we already know. Sarah Palin allowed him to sleep over all the time. Um, he, he, Levi Johnston has talked about that. Bristol Palin has talked about that. You know, just to give you guys an example of how full of shit she is, when, after she delivered the baby, she had an interview with Fox News, and her take on abstinence was a little different. Let's watch. Is it, I don't want to pry too personally, but I mean, obviously contraception is an issue here. Is that something that you just... Uh, lazy about or not interested in or do you have a philosophical or religious uh, opposition to it or no um i don't want to get into detail about that but uh i think abstinence is like like the i don't know how to put it like the main everyone should be abstinent or whatever but it's not realistic at all why because I don't want to get into detail about it. But without you being personal, just big picture, not, not necessarily about you. But because what? it's more and more accepted now. Not realistic. And then she gets paid, and now all of a sudden she's the poster child of abstinence. And then she has the balls to go on Good Morning America and say that someone stole her virginity away from her. You don't do that, because claims like that are so serious. And when you go on the record saying things like that, when other women have legitimately been raped or when they've been, um, you know, date raped or abused in any way, when they come forward, people are going to think about women like you who lie about it. Okay, so they're automatically going to look at others and be skeptical about their claims. So I hate when people make claims like this just to make themselves look like the good guy. And as you mentioned, Jake, and, she's and doing this to, to cash in. That's, that's all this is all about. Right, exactly right, man. And you th you s make a heavy charge like this against somebody because you want to get paid more, even though we saw you on tape saying abstinence was unrealistic before. What? It was unrealistic? Remember, at the time, she's saying it's unrealistic. What happened to stolen virginity at that point? No, there was, your virginity wasn't stolen. You were like, it's unrealistic. I'm getting laid all the time. But all of a sudden, your tune changes when you want to make money and you're willing to basically accuse someone of doing terrible things to you. You think anybody's going to listen to her caveats? They're going to see the headline. You know, Bristol Palin says her virginity is stolen. 
and they're gonna, you know, assume obviously that it was Levi, etc. And it's just a hideous thing to say, man. Uh, and she stepped way beyond the pale.